Get ready to build confidence, get stronger, and reach your goals. Hey there, and welcome to our live Saturday workout. As always on Saturday, we have a full body workout planned ahead. One thing, if you have it and you want to grab it today, will be your sliders. Usually I like to just do all dumbbell workouts so that everyone can join with no modifications, but if you've got your sliders, grab those, have those handy just for one exercise. But again, if you don't, if you don't have those, easy modification we will use instead. And yeah, I think we'll get right in to our warm up. Today's workout is going to be all about supersets. So we are going to have two exercises back to back with no rest in between. It's going to be an awesome full body workout. And then we have our cycling workout to follow. We're going to get right in to our warm up. So let's start with open and close. So crossing one arm on top and then alternating the other arm, warming things up. And then we're gonna do nice big arm circles back. We'll do one side and then the other in three, two, and one. So right here, one arm is gonna go back. Breathing, nice big circles and nice slow circles as well. Get that stretch, warming up that shoulder joint. First exercise, well, first superset is gonna be all about the shoulders. We're gonna switch it in two and one here. Hey, start your watch if you wanna do that. I don't know, maybe Jason was just getting ready to put that Oh, Shante, thank you. Yes, start your watch if you've got that and you like to use that for your workouts. Three more, here's three, two, and one. Now we're gonna reach side to side. So this arm reach across and back, and reach and back. Reach nice and far. Each time you reach, try to take it a little bit further with your reach. Three more, three, here's two, and one, now we're gonna switch sides. So, same thing, other side. And reach, good. Stretch it back as well. So opening up that chest, and across, down, good. Almost there, then we're gonna do good mornings in two. Here's one. So, good mornings, hands on your hips. We're gonna hinge just at the hips, slight bend in your knee. We're gonna hinge down and squeeze up. So now starting to warm up the back, starting to warm up the glutes, the hamstrings. So glad you're here, by the way. Thank you for coming on Saturday, my favorite day of the week. Down, push the hips forward as you come up and squeeze, keeping that core engaged. We're gonna do three more. Here's three. Don't forget to breathe. Two. And one. From here, hold it down, widen your, widen your stance. Take it to one side, down, walk it center and over. Stretch it out here, back center, and stretch it out. Back across to the other side. We're gonna do one more on each side, and then we're gonna go into a nice low sumo squat. From here, hold it down, good. From here, bring it down into that sumo squat. Hands right above your knees, we're gonna drop the shoulder in and then switch. So pressing out here with your hands, right, in, uh, right above your knee, twisting, good. A couple more, and then we're gonna do the sumo squat up and down. Last twist. Good, from here we're gonna be down, reach up nice and tall, down, reach up nice and tall, good, down. And up, breathing, up, three more, three, here's two, and last one, hold it up here. Now we're gonna um, take and do a side to side lateral lunge, stretching out here, good. And down, switch it over, breathing. Now, each time with this, try to take it just a little bit deeper as you go. We're gonna do one more each side from here. So here's one, switch it over. Good, now we're gonna bring it center, start to walk your feet in, bring those legs up and down. So warming up the hips here a little bit, squeezing that leg in, hugging your leg into your chest, not falling over like that, so you don't wanna do that. Squeeze. And I realized today when I saw my blue pants again, so I was like, oh yeah, the wall's blue. Interesting 
interesting pair of pants with this wall. One more each side, and then we're gonna stretch out the quad muscles, warm those up. So from here, holding the ankle and switch. Hold it just for a second and switch. Almost through the warm up, and then we're gonna get right into the workout. Work timer is gonna be on for 40 seconds. Again, it's a superset, so it's back to back. We're gonna move really quick to get into that next exercise. In between the supersets, 20 seconds. We have three rounds, five supersets in each round. After each round, you're gonna get 45 seconds to rest. We're gonna alternate between upper and lower body exercises. The last superset in each round is gonna work the abs and core. Last one here. Good, let's just take three deep breaths in and down. Here's two and last one, and then we're gonna get right into it. Whew. All right, first exercise is gonna be bottom to top. That's where we have one dumbbell. We're gonna lift it up to the top and bring it back down. Super setting that with your shoulder press. So have your dumbbells ready to go for top, bottom to top and then shoulder press. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, all right, so 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go, bottom all the way up to the top and down. So this superset focused all on the shoulder muscles. You're really working the front and the lateral deltoids and lift it up. Keep your core engaged, slight bend in your knees and lift, good. And up. Make sure your hips are tucked under here. You don't want to be standing with your bum back. So just tuck your hips under with this and down. Good. Shoulders are, even though we're working the shoulders, the shoulders are relaxed. We're not trying to lift with a shrug. So keep those shoulders down. 15 seconds. And then we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna grab our dumbbells. No, it's a super set. You had me, Jason, you know what? <laughs> All right, Jason's throwing me. How did that 40 seconds go by so fast? Shoulder press, here we go. Super set, one, yeah, okay, you got it. All right, well, I, I need to get it together because I was like, wow, this 40 seconds, I did not think the 40 seconds was over. We've been working long working timers. If you've been hanging out on the strength channel, our working timers have been longer the last few weeks because we've had some shorter workouts. Whew. Okay, definitely feeling this one though. I am paying attention to the timer and I know that now we have 10 seconds. Whew. So in between now, we're gonna get 20 seconds to rest in five seconds. Come on, keep pressing, keep pressing all the way down, all the way up, this is it. Whew. All right, 20 seconds. Now we're gonna work single leg Romanian deadlift. So you're just gonna need one dumbbell. Make sure you challenge yourself, but not too heavy to throw off your balance. So the leg that's on the ground, it's gonna be that opposite hand. We're gonna reach and pull. So here we go. One side and then the other. Control it down and squeeze up. Good. Back flat, core engaged. You can also work this as a kickstand. So keep that toe down on the ground, hinging over, keeping that dumbbell close. Pulling back up. Good. So modification is just like this. Pull and squeeze back up. But again, right here, still keeping that dumbbell nice and close. And up. This will be the last one. We're just gonna switch sides. And up, good. So just switching sides now. Opposite hand, opposite leg. I'm still gonna face this way, here we go. and squeeze back up. Now keep in mind your leg does not have to go this high. You can be stopping it even here and still getting that stretch in. Or still getting that muscle contraction, I should say. And pull 15 seconds and you're gonna get 20 seconds to rest. As you can see, we're alternating upper, lower body exercises. One more, and there we go. Rest timer is on, squeeze it back up. All right, now, on the mat, 
we are gonna be working chest press right into a push up. So all chest muscles working. Grab your dumbbells for chest press. Roll it back. And here we go, chest press. Down and press. Down, press it up. Exhale with the press. Keep your wrist straight, keep the wrist strong. Good. Did you go heavy enough? Come on, we're about halfway there. Challenge yourself today. I mean, you showed up. Let's, I know we've got cycling after, but we're gonna make it count right now. And exhale with the press, 10 seconds. Keep it strong, come on, keep pressing. Almost there. So we're gonna flip it right over to push-ups next, right into push-ups, knees, toes, whatever you got, here we go. Carefully set the dumbbells down off to the side, flip it over for push-ups, and let's begin. Here we go. This is one of my favorite superset combos. I don't know why, because it burns so bad, but I love it. Whew. Don't forget, exhale right here as you press up. Press that floor away, keep the legs strong, keep the core engaged. Breathing, oh, over halfway. And up, good, almost there. Then you're gonna get 20 seconds before we work lower body again. And that was it. Nice job. Now we're going into a glute bridge. So one or two dumbbells, supersetting that with a glute bridge pulse. So if you can try to keep the same weight, go for that. But let's grab our dumbbells, getting into position. My, uh, my workout friend is, <laughs> he's uh, very helpful today. All right, here we go, glute bridge. Lift, squeeze, and down. Squeeze it, hold it, control it down. Good, and up. Yes, we will have to talk about Nacho here if you're not in the Discord and you didn't hear about him yet. Breathing, you're halfway, hold it at the top. Don't forget that squeeze at the top. Remember the word, swipe or no swiping. That's good, 10 seconds and up. So from here, we're just gonna hold it at the top. I want you to hold it here. Hold it here, now we're gonna pulse it. 40 seconds pulse. Weight is in the heels, knees in line with your toes. Little pulse, squeeze. Okay, wow, all right. This, this one might take the crown for fiercest super set of the day so far. Come on, over halfway, keep it up, keep the hips lifted, lifted, come on, 15. Breathing, almost there, seven seconds, five, four, three, two, Whew. you did it. 20 seconds, keep it down here because we're gonna go into our ab work next. So for this next one, we're gonna do an oblique crunch, but you're gonna take your legs to one side. So knees are gonna be on, or bent, both legs down here, and we're gonna crunch just like this. So here we go, 20 sec or 40 seconds, let's begin. And crunch, good. Exhale with the lift, fingertips just behind your head to give you some support. Make sure you're not crunching your neck with your hands here. And breathing, halfway. We're just gonna switch sides next. So really think about working those obliques, squeezing right here. Eight seconds, just gonna switch sides. Three, two, and one, Whew, nice. All right, so just switching sides now. So opposite side, I just wanna make sure. This is not gonna be a, we'll do this way. All right, here we go, 40 seconds and crunch. Good, squeeze it up, exhale with the lift. Nice job, keep crunching. 25 seconds. Whew. 
You can reach down, feel those obliques working as you crunch. Feel those muscles contracting. Whew. Yes, 10 seconds. Keep it going, keep it strong. 45 seconds rest is next. In four, three, two, and one. Whew. Nice job. All right, 45 seconds. Done with round one. Moving on to round two. We're gonna bring it back up to standing. We're gonna work bicep curls next. We're gonna do our hammer curl followed by our bicep curl. So it's gonna be 40 or 80 total seconds of working the biceps. Pick a challenging weight. If you need to go down in between supersets, you always have the option to do that. But try to start heavy and if you need to go down, then you go down. But let's get our dumbbells. We've got 10 seconds. All right, so shoulders roll down and back here for your bicep curls. Slight bend in the knee. We're going in three, two, hammer curl. Here we go. Squeeze it up and down. Make sure you get that squeeze at the top. Hold it, contract, and down. Nice lift and squeeze. Our upcoming workouts this week, work the biceps a little bit more. So just to give you a heads up and the triceps, 10 seconds, two new workouts. We've got legs and glutes, and then we have an arms and abs workout. Going into bicep curls now, right into bicep curls, 40 seconds, and we're working. Unless you need to lower that weight, you can, or up the weight. Maybe you need to up the weight. Go for that too, but keep those arms pinned into your side. So don't let your, as you're lifting, make sure your shoulder isn't coming up and out. Make sure we're nice and keeping that elbow nice and low, pointing towards that ground. And squeeze, whoo. Exhale with the lift, all the way down and all the way up. 20 seconds to rest. And then we're gonna hit the lower body in four, three, Two, 20 seconds. All right, next two exercises. We've got the squat, the, I was about to combine the squat and the squat pulse. We've got a squat and then a squat pulse. So for this exercise, dumbbells will be right up here on your shoulders. So grab them, let's get ready to go. 40 seconds, down and squeeze. Push the hips up here at the top. Squeeze, good and up. Weight stays in the heels. So for that pulse, you're gonna have the option to keep the dumbbells and keep it as a low squat pulse or no dumbbells at all. And if you're questioning, you can always start with the dumbbells and then if you get 10 seconds in, say, never mind, I'm gonna set the dumbbells down. But remember, we're working here. So in three seconds, we're gonna hold it. Two, hold it down, pulse it. 40 seconds. Keep it low, keep your chest up. Good. Next week, we actually have a wall sit. We have not done a wall sit in so long. I was like, man, where have you been? We're not there, I just need a little bit of a stretch. We are halfway now. Whew, breathing, 20 seconds is coming up. 15, come on, keep it up. Oh wow, okay, this super set might be taking the crown now. Actually, oh, five seconds, because the quads are on fire. Two, one, yes, okay. Breathe, overhead tricep extension, right into tricep push-up. So remember the tricep push-up, your arms, similar to the push-up, but arms stay nice and close to your body down and up, knees or toes, overhead tricep extension, one or two dumbbells, here we go. Down and press. And up, keep the um, elbows close to your head, all the way down to all the way up. Breathing. So remember, we're gonna go right quick, down, to the floor in 15 seconds, tricep push up. 
eight seconds. Down. You've got it. Come on, stay strong, stay strong. Two and one, switch it right up, dumbbell down. Tricep push-ups, arms close, here we go. And press. Keep your body nice and strong and straight. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes. Pushing that floor away. Good. And up. Exhale as you press up right here. Yay, 10 seconds. You've got it. Three, two, one. Breathe it out. We're bringing it back up to work the lower body again. We are going into a sumo squat first. And then this is where if you've got your sliders, have those handy. We're gonna do alternating um, hip, hip lifted walkouts. So that's the next exercise. Sumo squat is first. Grab your dumbbell for sumo squats and let's go. Here we go. Down and squeeze, push the hips forward. Exhale right here at the top. And up, good. Down and press. So right away, we're gonna go into those. We're gonna be in the glute bridge position. Back is on the mat, hips are lifted. And then we're gonna walk the legs out, alternating right, then left. If you have the sliders, you're gonna slide the leg out, right, then left. I'll show you both options. I'll show you the walk out first, and then I'll grab the sliders. So here we are, last one. All right, down on the mat. I'm gonna go this way. So hips are gonna be up. We're gonna walk, walk, just like that. So if you've got the sliders, it's slide and back. 40 seconds. Squeeze it up. Breathing, keep those hips lifted. Don't let your hips sag as those legs are out extended. So you should really feel this in the back of your leg, your hamstring muscles, especially with that leg extended. And as you walk or pull back in, breathing, we've got 10. So we're gonna stay on the mat for next round for abs. Three, two, and one. Nice job. So 20 seconds going into abs. We're gonna do a, we're gonna be in plank position for a cross body mountain climber, so opposite knee to opposite elbow, back and forth. You can add the hop or walk it in and out, followed by legs up, toe touch. So getting into plank, here we go. So you can pull opposite knee to opposite elbow, or you can add a little bit of a hop as you pull. Almost there, halfway. Keep pulling. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, all in line here with this one. Seven seconds, we're gonna roll it onto our back, lift those legs, then reach for the toes. In three, two, one, flip it over. Right away, back, legs up, we're reaching. Modification, legs are down, and you're just reaching both hands up for the sky. Good, exhale with the lift. Keep it strong, guess what? Last exercise here for round two. And then we're gonna move on. Whew. Good, lift and lift. So 45 seconds after this for rest. Perfect time to grab a drink, dry off, get ready to kick butt in round three. In five seconds, here's three, two, oh my word. Okay, 45 seconds, nice job. We are bringing it up to finish off round three, our final round. So bring it up. First exercise, well, first two exercises, we're gonna be working the back. We're gonna do a right row, followed by the other side, that left row. So one dumbbell, that's all you need. 
then we're gonna alternate again, upper and lower body. So grab a weight that's gonna challenge you for this single arm row and bring it down. Let's just talk about form really quick before we get going. You can use this leg as support, either with your arm or your hand, but if you wanna think about extending, squeezing shoulder blade around spine. So here we go. Let's work it. Squeeze, good, all the way down and squeeze. Again, you can use your forearm if that gives you a little bit more support, but you wanna make sure your back stays flat and core is engaged. So don't round or arch. Good, and squeeze. Don't forget, I think it was, might have been two weeks ago we did the scapular retractors where we just thought about this move. So don't miss that move as we're rowing. Think about that and then squeeze all the way up to the top. And squeeze. Exhale, right here. Squeeze, switch it right over. Same thing, other side. Down and squeeze. Back flat, core engaged. Exhale with the lift. Almost halfway. Keep it strong. Wow, it is raining and um, we still have got a serious storm coming for cycling because guess what? It's gonna be a shuffle ride. It's been a while since we've had a shuffle ride. We're just working all the S's today. We've got the supersets, we've got the shuffle. Last one. Nice, okay. Going on to hit the lower body. We are working a goblet squat. So you're gonna need one dumbbell right up here. So we're gonna go into that goblet squat, followed by the sumo Romanian deadlift. So legs are gonna be out wide, down, and squeeze, hinging at the hips, slight bend in the knee. Goblet squat, let's go. Down, and squeeze. Keep your chest up with the goblet squat, and that dumbbell being in the front, make sure you're keeping your chest up. So you don't wanna let the dumbbell Bring your chest forward, so shoulders roll down and back. Keep your head up as well. That'll help if you start looking at the ground, you're gonna start to fall and lean forward. But with that goblet squat, it does emphasize the quads a little bit more. So we're working the quads a little bit more here, then we're gonna hit the quads and the glutes. All right, sumo, Romanian deadlift. Let's begin, so legs out nice and wide. We're down and pull, squeeze, push the hips. One or two dumbbells for this and up. I'm just gonna turn sideways so you can see. So slight bend in the knee, hinging at the hips. Dumbbells stay very close to your center of gravity. And keep your eyes, head straight forward, eyes following along for the ride. Good. 10 seconds, and up, Whew. last one, down, and squeeze, okay, amazing, all right, final upper body exercise, we're going into, what? oh, we're going into an arms up row, so two dumbbells, we're going to keep the arms up, rowing down and back. Then we're gonna go into Arnold Press. So grab your dumbbells for that arms up row and let's begin. Here we go. So down, back up, alternating sides. So you wanna keep that back contracted the entire time here. We extend and then we squeeze that shoulder blade around spine. Back is flat, core is engaged. You might find that you need to go up down just a bit in weight for this one. Good. Arnold Press is going to be next. So we're gonna hit the shoulders one last time today. Down and squeeze. Four seconds, two and one. Arnold Press, palms face you, up and away. Okay, I cannot believe how sweaty this workout has made me. Oh my goodness. Come on, all the way down, all the way up. Control it. Almost halfway. 
and press. You're over halfway now. Keep it strong. Down and press. 10 seconds. A couple more reps. You've got this. Come on, it is gonna feel so good to get to the end of this workout. We have been working so hard this one. Last one, 20 seconds. All right, so we are going into a reverse lunge and then a cross body lunge. If lunges are not your things, you're gonna be on the ground, single leg glute bridge one side, next exercise the other side. So reverse lunge just like this, stepping back, and then we're gonna do a cross body lunge. So grab your dumbbells for that and let's do it. All right, so reverse lunge, here we go. Alternating sides, shoulders rolled down and back. Good, keeping your chest up. Don't wanna disturb Nacho, so you know, we'll just work around him. 20 seconds, getting ready to go to that cross body lunge. But if you are on the ground working, you're working single leg glute bridge. And then for that next round through, you're just gonna switch sides. Almost there, three seconds, two, and one cross body lunge now. So we're gonna take it diagonal. So working it to the corner of your room and switch. Nice. And up. Whew. So we've just worked the reverse lunge, which works the glutes a little bit more. Now we're working this forward stepping lunge to work the quads a little bit more. And um, you know, cool things like that. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Nice job bringing it down to the ground for our final exercise in round three. All right, so we're gonna do a legs down twist. Feet are gonna stay down. Crossing those hands, we're gonna twist. Modification, you'll sit up a little bit farther, not twist quite as much. So here we go, twist it out. Nice. Really get that twist, working the obliques. Feet are planted on the ground. And twist. Almost halfway. From here, the next exercise we're gonna do is an X crunch. So we're gonna take our legs out at a V, arms out at a V, and we're gonna reach across, opposite toe to opposite hand. Now you can keep your legs bent and do that bent knee as well. Last one, out, legs out wide, arms out wide, and we cross. And cross, good. So modification, legs are bent, and you're just crossing elbow to knee here. Woo, yay, almost halfway. If you are coming for cycling, that is gonna start in, ooh, let's see. Just under 30 minutes on the cycling channel. We've got just about an hour long shuffle ride. So if you can make it, we would love to hang out with you there. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Whew. You are the bomb. That was a super tough superset workout. You did it, you kicked some butt. Thank you for being here on Saturday. Thanks for kicking butt with me. If you are coming to cycling, I will see you on that channel. If you are done for the day, do not forget to get a stretch and I will see you either the stretch or the cycling. I love you.